Our reporter Claire Pacon is standing by in Jerusalem. We can speak to her now. Hello to you, uh, Claire. Uh, first question, we're having these near daily exchanges of a uh, fire between Israel and Hezbollah just escalate dramatically this week. Some people calling for a ceasefire. It seems that, you know, the Israeli prime minister pressing down on Israel's operations. Tell us more. Certainly the prospect of a ceasefire back and forth. We're, we're looking at what's really a diplomatic game. Earlier on in the week, we had reports that U.S. officials were hopeful that a ceasefire between Israel and Hezbollah could come into place soon. Then we had a statement from the prime minister, the Israeli prime minister's office, saying that Benjamin Netanyahu hadn't even responded to the proposal put forward by the U.S. and France for a ceasefire. That caused frustration in the U.S., we heard from John Kirby, the, the defence spokesman, saying that uh, the US had every reason to believe that Israel was at least on board with the ceasefire talks. And now we're hearing, we had a statement earlier on from the Israeli <laughs> Prime Minister's office this morning, we're now hearing that Israel says that it does share the aims of the US initiative and that it, representatives from both countries had discussed it yesterday on Thursday and will continue to discuss it in the next few days. Of course, this is all in the context of Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli prime minister, is now in the US and he is preparing to speak at the UN General Assembly in New York later this afternoon. Yeah, and Claire, what can you tell us about the latest on the ground? Well, certainly Israel has been very clear that it's continuing to hit hard on Hezbollah. We're now seeing areas of the border between Lebanon and Syria being targeted by Israeli strikes, areas where Israel believes weapons are being transported from Syria into Hezbollah's hands. More than 700 people in Lebanon have been killed in the last few days alone, including me having reports from Reuters news agency saying that nine members of one family in Sheba, which is near the border, near the Lebanese-Syrian border, were killed earlier on. Four children included in that figure. So certainly we're hearing and we're seeing more and more upscale of the strikes from Israel into Lebanon to hit Hezbollah targets, but also seeing many families fleeing, trying to get to safer places. On this side, though, of the border in northern Israel, large swathes of the territory having alerts throughout the night and this morning and this afternoon as well. Many, a large geographical area from Haifa on the coast, including areas of the Lower Galilee and Southern Golan, where people have been told they need to go into their safe rooms, go into air raid shelters, as rockets from Hezbollah and drones as well are seen in the skies. Many of them are intercepted by Israel's defence system, but not all of them. Um, I was at a hospital in Nauria, which is in the north of, of Israel, not too far at all from the Lebanese border and I was speaking to health personnel there and patients, the health personnel telling us how they're preparing for an increased escalation in what is already a very tense conflict and situation right now on the ground.